So I don't know if you guys remember when we were talking that one of the machines we looked at over in Defender ATP was listed as high risk. So probably many of you are familiar with uh, the conditional access policies that came out of Azure AD or even MCAS, right, where we could look at impossible travel, right? If a user had logged in from Tampa at 4 o'clock and at 4.05 they logged in from Singapore, probably there something has been compromised. So what we could do with conditional access is say the next time that user tries to log in, we're going to throw up MFA, right? We're going to prompt them for multi-factor auth or something like that, right? Maybe we're going to allow them to log in. Maybe we're going to block the sign in or maybe we're going to enforce MFA like we just said, so, right? Well, new with um, Intune and Defender ATB is now what's called the device risk. So if the device itself um, for some reason is showing as a high risk, we can prevent it from, right? Maybe we're gonna prevent them from printing um, or uh, it could be that we're just gonna actually only prevent them from looking at certain resources. So let's actually take a little look. This is sort of a shot by shot of what it's gonna look like here. So we can see this for those of you who are Intune admins or have access to the Intune console. This should be showing up for you, this in the box here, right, is you're going to say, what compliance level am I willing um, to let log into my environment, right? So if it's at low risk, maybe I'm still going to let them log in because maybe that just means <clears throat> we caught an antivirus alert on it. And if it's a high risk, we're not going to let them get anything, right? Uh, but so we have to determine what's going to be the acceptable risk level. And we'll make that setting in Intune. And we can see, right, so Windows device risk, like we said, is calculated by Defender ATP based on the active alerts. And we can see once a red alert has been thrown, right, we have, act, we have restricted the access of our user from any of their cloud apps. That's what we decided to do. So, and once the machine gets remediated, which hopefully will be automatically based on some of the new machine learning, um, that access will be restored. Now, this could also happen uh, with someone manually remediates the machine, meaning somebody fixes the problem. But like we said, hopefully the manual remediation or the automated remediation is going to handle that. So, and we can decide what it is we're going to block and let them do, right? Maybe we're going to let them have access to email, but not to internal services, right? You guys get to make the decision on what that conditional access is going to be. So we can take a look at here. We can see this is tiny, so you guys may not be able to see it, but a user opens a malicious document from an external USB drive, right? We can see this is the alert that gets thrown over in Defender ATP. So Defender ATP delects the malicious activity. Then we get that high risk alert we were talking about. And then what happens? The end user gets this wonderful, oops, sorry, you can't get into this yet. Your IT department, and you can actually customize this message, but your IT department is making sure everything's up to date, right? So it's going to block them from accessing what they've done here is SharePoint and Teams was their decision, right? And then the automated incident response, right? This is from our Hexadite purchase is where we have added all of that new um, intellectual property on uh, automatically remediating alerts. Um, that graph so is really cool. <laughs> so we can take a look at that in the uh, over in the uh, console as well. So uh, we can see that that's been remediated. And so then all of a sudden, yay, the user can continue to work, right? So sometimes this happens so quickly, um, the end user doesn't even notice it. But again, it's just helping to, uh, you know, shrink the attack surface area in our environment. And once we've removed the threat, it goes back down to no risk, right? So that is... Um, the conditional access piece.